good morning lovers welcome to the first couple with katie for 2021 i'm still getting used to saying the year 2021 i keep writing 2020 i think it's <laughs> i'm sure you're the same it takes a while to get used to writing the new year doesn't it uh happy new year i hope you've had a beautiful holiday season no matter where you are in the world what you've been doing the end of the year definitely is an opportunity to down tools and relax and spend time with family. And I can tell you, I completely, utterly switched off. It was so awesome. I had a full two weeks of pretty much zero work, pretty much. I mean, there was a couple little things that came in that I had to do, tiny things. Uh, but I have some great support now and um, Oh my God, it just felt so good to completely just be offline. Occasionally, you know, I had a little look at Facebook and Instagram because I enjoy it, but I was just off and my husband was off and obviously the kids were off and, uh, and we just had like real quality time. And it was really interesting, you know, the fact that we weren't al allowed uh, to be out and about seeing people like we probably usually would at this time of year. We really just hunkered down and you know, it was a daily kind of routine of sleeping in, going really slow in the morning. I don't think any of us ever got out of our pajamas before kind of like 11 or 12 every day. Um, brunches, dog walks, coming home in the afternoon, putting the log burner on, playing games, watching a film in the evening, lots of good cooking. Like it was just slow, easy, relaxed downtime. And I'm so grateful for it. And James and I just had such a nice time together. Um, yeah, it was just really, really good. So however your experience was, I hope you had a lovely Christmas and New Year as well. Um, and then, you know, it's been a time for lots of reflection on 2020 and what that year was all about and visioning into 2021. So this weekend just gone, James and I spent a lot of time visioning on what we want for this year. I'm actually just about, like in about 30 minutes, I'm about to host a workshop called 2021 Vision. And so over this weekend, he and I took ourselves through that workshop. We'd already done some stuff in the lead up. We've already created some vision boards over the holiday period. And, uh, but we got really, way more into detail about what this year is going to be about for us. And what came through, and it was really fun to share it with my husband because it's a very feminine perspective on goal setting and intention setting and you know setting yourself up for a new year. And it was more around how do we desire to be rather than what do we wanna do? Like it was less a focus on what do I wanna achieve and more a focus on how do I want to show up in the world? How do I want to feel? Who am I? And how could I be more of that? And what would that feel like? And it was really interesting having the conversation with him because at first he was like, what, what, what do you mean? Who am I being in the world? Hi, Mandy. Uh, say hi, by the way, if you're here live. And if you're on the replay, just do hashtag replay and let me know you've watched. That'd be great. Um, but yeah, he's funny. He was like, what do you mean? Who am I being in the world? Like, it's just such a feminine concept, but it's so important. And the workshop I'm going to be running today where, oh, hi, Emma. How are you doing? I saw you just joined Evolution. Can't wait to see. I hope you can join the workshop today. That would be awesome. Hi, darlings. Oh, lovely to have you. Happy New Year. Um, oh, what was I saying? Yeah. So even the workshop I'm running today. I can hear my dog barking in the background and he will not be doing that on the workshop. He's going to the outside office. <laughs> hey, Francis. Hi, good to see you. Um, uh, where was I? Where was I? I'm easily distracted. Um, yeah, even in our 2021 visioning workshop today, we're going to be doing it from a very feminine perspective. And we're going to be starting with how we feel and who we desire to be in the world this year because if 2020 has taught us anything I wonder if you agree with me this is my perspective I know I'm not alone in this but I wonder if you're watching how you feel about this um, the idea that you know we were being invited very much weren't we to to be more hi Wendy uh, we've been invited to be we we're being invited to uh, to kind of stop and get off the unconscious treadmill that a lot of us live on. I'd like to think that I'm not living on an unconscious treadmill because of the work I do and the commitment I have to that. 
and living consciously and transformationally and all that good stuff. And there are depths and levels and layers, aren't there, to living consciously and, uh, and living intentionally. And I definitely went to a new level and layer of that in 2020. Um, and we were all being invited to approach life differently and to be more rather than do more. And it's because the feminine is rising. You know, the feminine has been rising and, and, and we've kind of had a year, I feel, we've had a year of kind of getting used to uh, this new way of being in the world. Less pushing, less striving, less competing and more around collaboration and, and supporting each other and supporting ourselves and kind of paying conscious and intent conscious attention to who we are and, and what, what, what we're here to, to do, what we're here to be. So, and sorry if I'm rambling a little bit, I'm a bit distracted by my barky Barkerson dog out there. <laughs> it makes it very hard to concentrate when you've got him going mental on the other side of the door. I don't know if you can hear him. Um, so, 2020, I feel like, has been preparing us to to get really freaking good at being and just letting go of the habit of doing. And so as we move into 2021, I feel like we're meant to take, hi Kellyanne, I feel like we're meant to take this being idea to the next level, like almost to a mastery level. Yeah, we've, we've experienced the discomfort of change in 2020 and that is continuing and it will continue to continue for a while now. But if we could choose to be really intentional about how am I being in the world this year rather than what am I trying to get, what am I trying to take, what am I trying to achieve, what am I trying to conquer and, more, and come from the energy of, well, who inherently on a soul level am I? And how do I desire to feel and show up in the world and then approach everything from that place? I mean, not least, that's such a magnetic energy. It's such a high vibrational energy. It's so aligned with the truth of who you are that everything that you want to call in, your achievements, your goals and so on, they're going to come in way faster if you start from the energy and the intention of who am I being? How do I desire to feel? So important. So that's really my question for you today. You know, it's... Ask yourself, in 2021, who do I desire to be? Set the intention to become more masterful at being the truth of you, at showing up in a way that feels really, really aligned with who you are. Who is, who are you, woman? You know, who is the woman that you came here to be? You're absolutely being invited into that and really start to hone that and master that and enjoy the mastery of that because that is going to be your superpower year on year going forward now that the feminine is rising and is running the show. Can you feel that? I, I can really feel that. So to share, I mean, I'm just looking at my journal here, by the way. I did Instagram it, I think, but um, this is my cool journal right now. Oh, the, the text can be back to front, isn't it? It says the future is female with a little crown. I love it. So... I've written, you know, in 2021, I intend to be, so it's not like I want to achieve this and I want to make this much money and I, you know, I want to have this following and I, I want to go there and do this and have that. Like, that's all great. Nothing wrong with that. And let's start from being. So for me, I intend to be patient, calm, spiritually connected, healthy, relaxed, peaceful, mentally at ease. And then a big word that feels like this word almost ironically encompasses all of those feelings and it's strong. So a word for me for this year, um, I've got a few words going on this year. I've been give, I've, my, my higher self has given me a word which I'm not ready to share yet. I've shared it with my evolution membership group and my private clients and so on. I'm not ready to share it publicly yet because I still don't really understand it, my, my word that I've received for this year. Um, suffice to say, it's a pretty cool word, but I don't really get it yet. But there's another word that's really leading my year this year and it's strong. 
strong and in terms of who I intend to be this year there's a strength in in choosing patience can, can you feel that there's a there's a personal mastery in choosing patience calm in choosing a daily spiritual practice and feeling spiritually connected health but my health this year and having a, a really tip-top immune system and feeling physically strong you know, I'm in the second half of my 40s now and I can feel and see the differences in my body. And I need, a, I, I need to be strong in my discipline and my routine and how I take care of myself and prioritizing that. It requires great strength. It requires strength to choose to be relaxed, to be peaceful, to enjoy mental ease. Right? So... For me, strong encompasses all of these pieces as a strength on a mental level, an emotional level, physical and spiritual. That's really important to me this year. But I'm beginning my year and I'm beginning my, my goal setting and all of the intentions of all that I want to call in for the year from a place of who do I intend to be. And then when I'm setting my goals for the year, I can check in with them and I can see, well, how could I achieve that while also being and feeling, it being the woman I am and, and feeling the way I desire to feel. So that I'm not calling in these desires and, have, and creating these achievements from a place of any level of depletion or shoulding or you know, keeping up appearances, hi Kathy, um, or anything that's not aligned with me. So I can still achieve my goals, call in my desires and feel good while I'm doing that. Does that make sense? Yeah, hi Andrew. Yes, does that make sense? Um, yeah, that's what I wanted to share with you today. So if you're goal setting and intention setting and you know setting yourselves up for an amazing year ahead, I invite you to start from the energy of who do I desire to be this year and how do I desire to feel and allow all of your goal setting and intentions to align with that energy. Then it will feel easier, it'll feel more fun, you'll have more energy, um, yeah. And you'll be more magnetic. You know, energetically, it'll be easier to call in and receive everything that you desire. So, Happy New Year. That's my little message for today. I'll see you again on Wednesday. So, Couple with Katie is every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Not at a particular time because I don't, I don't work like that. I can't commit to a time. I come on live when I feel good and when I know you're going to get the best of me. So, um, yeah. See you Wednesday. Have a beautiful rest of your day. And I know some of you are joining my 2021 vision workshop in like 15 minutes. So I'll see you there soon. Love you all. Have a beautiful day.